the aluminum anodes are doing exactly what you want them to do. Hello and welcome to another one of our Boat How To Ask The Expert series with Nigel and Jan. Today, as always, we're answering some of your questions. And today's question is the following. I've recently changed from zinc anodes to aluminum. We have one anode on the tail end of the propeller and one on the propeller shaft. The aluminum has greatly reduced the rate of anode consumption to the extent that we're wondering if the aluminum anodes are sufficiently sacrificial. Should we change back to zinc? Well, that's a good question. So that, of course, is one of the benefits of aluminum. Mm -hmm. it lasts a whole lot longer. Uh, I don't remember off the top of my head the energy density of the aluminum was compared to the zinc, but it's, it's, it's um, several times higher and probably many times higher, yeah. uh, which means it is going to last an awful lot longer. My guess is there's no problem here, and the aluminum anodes are doing exactly what you want them to do. If they have other anodes on the boat connected into a bonding system, um, you also need to change those as well to aluminum because you can't mix aluminum and zinc in the same. Yeah. I mean, system. then basically the aluminum would eat up the zinc and yeah. itself not do um, much good. So uh, yeah, anytime you can change to aluminum, there are significant benefits to it. For example, uh, bow thrusters. Now, where they have individual anodes like props to mm -hmm. you can get aluminum anodes for bow thrusters, you can get aluminum anodes for propellers, um, for most of the places where we've traditionally used zinc. I'm not so sure about the, uh, the, the bolt-on anodes that go on to uh, metal boats and so on, whether aluminum is available for them. I haven't actually checked, mm -hmm. yeah. but uh, it's yeah. definitely worthwhile making the change. What you should do, though, is make sure that they're like from a proper manufacturer and that is the right kind of aluminum because yeah. it's not just a piece of aluminum, it has to be properly treated to actually be um, yeah, eaten up by the rest yes. of the, the metal. And actually there's a terrific website, and we have no um, connection with these people by the way, uh, uh, performancemetals.com, okay. um, that has a ton of information on anodes and also a very wide collection of yeah. anodes for a lot of broad range of applications. So check that out, but also check out our courses at boathow2.com. Where we actually talk a lot about um, corrosion. We have a whole module, I think it's over an hour of video content, where we, explain, where we explain in detail how anodes work and what they do, and also yeah, how to, to prevent galvanic and stray current corrosion. Yeah. So check us out, boathow2.com, and see you soon.